Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Sunday morning and it's my last ride before a few days off. I've gone pretty hard, especially since Christmas on the bike, to try and get fit, try and get fast. And I'm ready for a day off. My legs are creeping. On top of all the sessions that we do indoors, including 111 kilometers yesterday, we're trying to do as much as possible outside riding all of the different bikes, just to try and squeeze out every last little bit of potential I can, every minute that I had spare before having some time off, and I'm quite looking forward to it actually. Today, Alex and I are gonna attack some climbs, but that's not what I wanted to share with you. We've picked up Alex and we've gone out on the nastiest, dirtiest little lanes, Alex. We've both cleaned our bikes beforehand. Yeah, we both have freshly washed bikes. And we'll both be cleaning them afterwards. One of us might be cleaning our bikes afterwards. <laughs> uh, these are the roads that both of us first ever rode with Trail Cycling Club, which is quite funny. Yeah. It's like the most traditional first club ride ever through Idlis. It really is grotty, but it is nice. It's lovely and quiet. This is the calm before the storm because it's flat, it's easy, it's a valley road. But it's going to get short, sharp, spiky and hilly. The fun has started. 885 for a minute. Where's Alex? Two, one, go! Chasing that. Luckily for me, and maybe not for Alex, he's punctured. We're doing these short, sharp efforts. I've got nothing left in me. So instead of carrying on with that, we'll get into today's video properly. So it's now January the 15th. I have completely weaned myself off alcohol, as we discussed before. But I spent a long time preparing myself for that, that goal, that challenge, to the point that by the time I embarked on that little journey, I was kind of convinced that I was going to achieve it anyway. That was how I approached goals in the past with cycling and with anything really. I think about it long enough until I'd almost convinced myself that yes, I was going to achieve it, which makes actually implementing it that little bit easier. And because of that, training's going really well. I've started to set near PBs, which even though I'm a lot heavier, power PBs, not power to weight PBs, there's a big difference. And hopefully they'll come in useful later in the year. But what I really wanted to talk about was in sharing that video two weeks ago and alcohol and the reasons behind it and things like that, it opened up this unbelievable response from people that shared their own experiences, not just with that, but with other things. And I think if there's one thing that's helped me a huge amount over the last few years, it's listening to other people's experiences, reading other people's experiences, and seeing that everyone goes through times that aren't probably quite as they'd planned or as they'd expected, or just simply times that are really difficult. And I think it's really important that we all share those experiences with others, not necessarily with me, not necessarily with people you know, but just putting your experiences out there helps educate other people that things don't always go to plan, but it doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Like my life certainly hasn't been as I expected it to pan out, but it doesn't mean it's bad either. Like actually those experiences are incredibly valuable and I'm sure they will come into good use in the future. There's a saying that I mentioned a while ago, don't ask yourself, why is this happening to me? Ask yourself instead, why is this happening for me? And as soon as you start to look at things like that, it's quite good education. Like Alex here now, he's learning how to fix punctures again. He could well be asking, why me, why me? But actually, 
track for one puncture every week of the year. One puncture a week so far. <laughs> but no, it's really important. Keep sharing your stories, keep sharing your experiences. That really supports others. It really helped me get through times that I found more difficult to deal with knowing that other people have been through those similar dark moments. And then get out and do some exercise. That's ultimately probably the best thing that you can possibly do. Even if it's just five, 10 minutes of walking. Exercise gets your blood flowing, releases endorphins, and you will always feel better for doing something. Dirty already. Just need to do on this side too then. Scar them when I come through. The ride, Alex. That was great fun, thank you very much. It's painful fun. <laughs> I pushed it as far as I could go to the point that I had less than 20%, no, I was more than 20% off best numbers, so. Yeah, that's pretty good then. No, <laughs> it's a good sign for a rest, isn't it? <laughs> Enjoy yeah. your Sunday. Thank you very much. I'll uh, see if I can get some new tyres. New tyres, and you're going further, aren't you? Yeah, about another 75k. 75k, all four. What are you training for? Uh, more endurance races, Pan Celtic 2022. Maybe some other ones if I'm lucky. Should be good fun. Brave. <laughs> That's it, I'm ready for some time off now. 163 TSS to finish what has been quite a busy couple of weeks, trying to make the most of every spare minute. Try and get fit for the year. One big crazy block of training. Should hopefully see me through the next few weeks. A few months even. Just gonna wash this now and I'm good to rest. I wanna say one more time, a massive thank you to everyone that did take the time to respond, to share, comment, like, whatever it is you've done to interact with the last video. It really, it's really special. It's not something that I'd expected at all. I just, I don't think anyone walks through life expecting a response like that to personal things that they put out there. So in the future, when applicable, I'll definitely share moments that I've found to be really beneficial to learn from in my own life. Otherwise, hopefully next week there'll be a video. It depends on an embargo being lifted on a really cool experience I had a few weeks ago, or a few, six weeks ago now. So with a little bit of luck, that'll be within the next 10 days. Otherwise, see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching. How was that? Right. <laughs> <laughs>